Hey guys, I'm literally sitting in my desk area for school because I have so much freaking homework I want to do, but I wanted to film this quick video of my Dollar General haul for you to kind of explain everything. So Dollar General has these sales every Saturday for a $5 off a $25 purchase. Basically what this means is you want to get whatever you need up to a value of $25 and then use as many coupons as you can to lower your out of pocket. That's how you kind of like hack the system a little bit. Um, that five off 25 comes off first and then all your coupons will come off after that and it's a good deal. So I wanted to hit that up today. So I was going in the store and then I realized I had a $3 off a $15 purchase coupon on my app. Now, not all apps are the same. So um, they are not all accounts are the same. If you have a Dollar General account, it's free to make, by the way. Um, so keep that in mind that I might have this coupon. You might not have it or you might have it. Um, but yeah, so the 3 off of 15 ends up being a better deal for what I wanted to do. Because um, I do, really didn't want to get $25 worth of stuff. And there wasn't that many crazy good deals that I saw, for me at least. I mean, there might be some other good deals for other people, depending on what coupons they had for their account. So this is what I wanted to get. I knew I had some really, really good coupons for this medicine and I wanted to somehow combine it and get some things that I needed, which were Powerades. I usually stock up on these for the school year since I like to work out and stuff. So I'm all out and I knew I needed some, so I wanted to do something there. So because I had that $3 off a $15 purchase coupon in my head, I was said, okay, I need to get $15 worth of stuff so that $3 off can come off and then the rest of my coupons can come off. So what I did was to hit that $15 threshold was I picked up two of these Musimex um, Fast Max. They are $5.50 at Dollar General. And I had two coupons I literally just can, ugh, cut out out of the Sunday newspaper. I can't even talk. Um, and the coupons were $5 off each. So this was $5.50. I had a $5 off coupon. So in the end, I would pay $0.50 cents for this and $0.50 cents for this because I had two coupons. So that is a really good deal right there. And this is why you should never throw your coupons out if you get the Sunday newspaper. Like I have friends who throw the Sunday newspaper out without even looking at them. And I'm like, guys, the coupons that you get in the Sunday newspaper are so good. So if you have those coupons, this will make a great deal. Now some accounts will have one of the digital $5 off coupons. I'm not sure if it's up there or not because I already used mine, but you can check that out. So that's $11 right there. $11 out of the $15 I needed to get. So I then wanted to grab my Powerades and I thought these would be 80 cents a piece, but they're actually 95 cents a piece. Still fine by me. So I grabbed three because I had a dollar off three coupon on the app. So that was another $2 and like 60 cents, I think, minus the dollar off coupon, which means I'd pay a dollar 60 for the three of them. Then I wanted to pick up, I saw this on someone's Instagram, these Crunch Berries, because I actually like Captain Crunch, and I think it might only work for this particular one. It's in the dollar section for a dollar, and on the app, there is a 75 cent off Quaker coupon that is attaching to this, making this 25 cents. So I thought that was a good deal because I really like those. Then, because I was still kind of like underneath that $15 threshold, I picked up some puffs and I don't really use Kleenex but my mom does so I figured why not she can use these she's always yelling at me to buy some more so these are a dollar sixty and there is a 75 cent off coupon I believe for these so I got them a bit cheap um, and then the last thing I did grab were these hauls um, cough drops I don't know why I linked out there they're a dollar ninety five and then there's a dollar off coupon on the Dollar General app making them 95 cents. Now I did notice that there's a dollar rebate on one of my rebate apps called Checkout 51. I haven't submitted my receipt yet so I don't know if it'll work with that or not. But if it does that means these will be free in the end. If not it's fine they're cheap. So after I got all this stuff I want to say my retail cost was around 17 or 18 dollars I think. And because it was over the three dollar or the fifteen dollar threshold, the three dollar off a of fifteen dollar coupon came off. So that came off, and then all of my digitals came off because I punched in my phone number at checkout. They all came off, and then once all my digital coupons came off, I handed over my two paper coupons for the medicine. 
which ended up bringing my total down to $1.95 before tax and then tax was like 95 cents. So in the end, I paid $2.90 for a thing of hauls, some tissues, three Powerades, two Musimexes, and um, some cereal. And to put that into perspective, one of these alone cost $5.50 and I just paid less than $3 for like all of this stuff that I showed you. So I'm super excited. Um, if you don't have the $3 off a 15 purchase coupon on your app, there should be a $5 off a $25 purchase coupon on your app. The same thing will work. You want to get your retail cost up to $25 and then use as many coupons as you can to lower your out-of-pocket cost. Um, I don't have any scenario set up for that because I didn't get $25 worth of stuff but the same thing applies you grab whatever you need you can like scan on the app scan the barcodes and it'll tell you if a coupon pops up for that item um I haven't really been doing a lot of Dollar General Saturday hauls but I highly recommend if you are ever in need of personal care products or laundry stuff that Saturdays at Dollar General is a pretty good deal to get your stuff at. You can pretty much get it at least half off, I wanna say. Um, but yeah, that was my little Dollar General haul. Um, in depth of all the coupons I used, how much I paid for it, and how the whole system kinda works. Um, I recommend you making a free Dollar General account. Make sure you kinda download the app on your phone. It's really useful when you're in the store and you can scan items to see if coupons work for the items. You can also scan items and find out that something might be priced differently than what it says in the store. That's great, that's always a good thing to see and I love that. But I'm gonna log off at that because I need to put all of this stuff away and I have so much homework I have to do. So I'll see you guys in the next couponing video.